In this episode, I'm partying with my friends at Carib Marine after a positive surprise and invitation to their company party. Fine tuning of the rig while finishing up things on board and also doing a prototype project while waiting for my LED lamps. This week started with fine tuning of B3, so she will perform perfect again. I so can't wait to feel the salt breeze in my face. My floating home is now better prepared for long distance cruising than ever. Everything is brand new and the turnbuckles are now getting their pins locked to them in position. And also two electricians are working inside and outside to reconnect all the cables that was replaced. And of course the new ones for the spreader lights. <laughs> Cool guys with good vibes makes it almost a bit sad that this project is almost ended. It has been so educational and lots of fun. While doing this refit I have also as mentioned earlier done a few upgrades and adjustments. Including turning my backstay tensioner from outside to inside so I can adjust this without hanging over the rail. Still lots of cables to reconnect after stepping the mast back, so I'm very happy to have professional help to this. Some new solutions and also a spider web due to the big project with the spreader lights. Once here we're done with their work, I could start get my interior back and hopefully make things look a bit more organized again. It looks worse than it is, as most of this is just what I call surface noise. Getting the panels and covers back is pretty easy due to the clever solutions from Bavaria. With good music on the sound system, it went pretty fast to tidy up things and I could enjoy my nice and clean home again. I'm almost done here now, just waiting for the lamps and the new suspension for my rod kicker that holds the boom up. All the wiring was done when the mast was on land. However, because this was a lot of money to me, I waited to the last minute ordering lights and this job. So we are still waiting for the lamps that was not on stock, so it's only my slow decision making to blame. And what is the brand you said? This is a Lumitec LED. Limited class. Yes. And it's good shit. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Not only had Aurelie good news to me again, but the general manager and owner of the entire company also had a surprise for me. He told me they wanted to sponsor B3 with the entire Spreader Light project. I will tell more about this later. Walking home to B3, very happy today and also excited that I'm invited to a private party with the entire company later this week. <laughs> Now and then I see this barge with new catch on deck. Also this evening they had new wrecks collected and it's so nice to see what's going on here. Still cleaning up and getting the wrecks out from beautiful Martinique. Ever since I started uh, this project with the uh, lights in the mast I've been thinking a lot on how I want it to work and what kind of options I want. So um, to find uh, the possibilities to, to have just the lights in the top, the middle or on the bottom, uh, only the lights that lights up or downwards. Um, I need a, a massive um, switchboard that makes it possible either knobs or buttons, whatever. So I've been checking uh, online and around to see if I could find anything that uh, I yeah, suits the interior of B3. It turned out to be pretty hard, um, not so easy to find uh, switches that I like. So anyway, after checking out a lot of different uh, models, I decided that uh, now I will try to design this myself. And to show my appreciation towards Carib Marine, I added their logo to my design. So as a DIY or DIY, <laughs> um, it's um, not something I have very high competence in. <laughs> so this is uh, an experiment, a uh, prototype, uh, but um, I mean, how difficult can it be? <laughs> 
So um, now I'm done with my uh, sketch. Um, I have made um, a PDF uh, of the file and have it on my memory stick. I'm gonna go to the print shop and see if they can help me to get this on an aluminium surface. Almost anything is possible here in Marnik. So I checked with the print shop if they could print my design on aluminium for me. And they said no problem, so I ordered this and I will have it in 24 hours. As you can see it's pretty crowded in this marina and I even had to ask kindly for extending my stay once again. Two more weeks and hopefully I'm done before, but you never know. Luckily they were very sweet and approved my extended stay here in this marina. So in the afternoon I could join the party with my friends from all the different Carib departments here at the shipyard. I love this industrial party, but metal music was not part of it. However, the industrial samba show was so much fun. And before you knew it, garbage bins and barrels came to expand the rhythm section and to increase the sound. Suddenly I felt being in a private carnival with my friends here, spreading joy and drum beats. I was pretty sure I had heard before. So I had to find this clip from 2019. Surrounded by these awesome people in this shipyard and their metal workshop is difficult to describe. And it ended almost like the big parade in Fort de France with happy songs and later to the bar. Because of Covid there was no carnival in Martinique this year, but being included and parting with the Carib Marine was definitely a good substitute. So thank you for giving me a carnival feeling. My Viking blood gives me never a hangover day, so I was feeling energetic and went to pick up my printed project. I tried to make this compact and hopefully it will blend in as good as possible to be freeze interior. I had bought LED lights to make it more visual and also small nice switches and then started to cut out and trying to fit it into this printed aluminium. This is of course amateur engineering and prototyping. The biggest challenge is to have all the wires and fuses on the back side when you also need place for the switches and diode resistance for the LED lights. So I took this out of the shelf fuse box and reduced it from 6 to 5 fuses. With epoxy I glued now in different angle to use plastic parts from this as a bridge. I used my Dremel to cut the metal and also shortened this bolt for power in. Then soldering the cables that's paired and putting all together in the right order. So I'm done with the panel and I have been testing all the connections to make sure that everything is correct and uh, as I inten intended it to be. So yeah, I think it looks pretty good. <laughs> it's uh, almost like a five cylinder engine. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, you can try to do it like this. So. The idea is that um, I have um, 
outlet here for all the lights and I'm gonna make a separate panel that will be uh, on the side uh, with the dimmers so I can um, dim down the different sections and um, yeah so with this I can choose to only have the lower spread the lights on or just the top or only the ones that uh, lights upwards or only the ones that lights downward and even tune the, the brightness of them so yeah I think it's gonna be good uh, pretty proud of this I'm not an expert in uh, electronics so uh, I think this looks pretty badass <laughs> So I hope you liked this uh, short episode and um, thank you so much for watching and um, yeah I guess it's not much more to say than stay safe, stay healthy and cheers! <laughs>